So about to get underway here. Morris Brothers, Ashgrove up against St. Augustine's. St. Augustine's on your right of screen. And Morris Brothers from Ashgrove. So there'll probably be a lot of highlight reels of anything that Ashgrove did because our producers went to school there. <laughs> so could be interesting. But this should be a good clash. St. Augustine's from Cairns. And obviously Ashgrove from Central Brisbane. John, John Buchanan will jump on the Cairns with me for this clash between Ashgrove and and St. Augustine's. Good morning to you, JB. Yeah, good morning, Johnny. Apologies for being a little late. That's all right, mate. You, the hooter hasn't gone yet. We run to a tight clock, as you know. And here we go. Ashgro will kick off from left of screen to the southern end. And Ashgrove. Normally in a more bluey yellow, but bluey orange colours here this afternoon. Tackle there is a nap. Centre of the park, trying to get to their set of six. St. Augustine, as I said, from Cairns. Long way to come. A bit cooler down here. Good quick play the ball and a penalty for everybody up inside the 10. The referee sends it back deep in the tackle count. So Ashgrove will have to wait a little bit longer before they get their hands on the ball. John Buchanan, uh, no stranger to rugby league. Residence coach and... Coach at uh, the highest level, now coaching director, mate. There's a lot of talent out here today, JB. Where do you look? Oh, it was a good day yesterday, mate. Yeah. Um, even that last game wasn't too bad that I just watched. So, yeah, it's great to see so many teams here and so many schools, I suppose. And, yeah, it's really, really enjoyable to watch the footy. So much so much talent as well. There's a deep back line here to the right-hand side. St. Augustine's putting it through the hands here. Catch and pass. It's going to be in the hands of... Uh, Ziegler, the defence from Smarish Brothers, coming up in an umbrella fashion. Turns that play back inside. They continue to pepper the left defence of Marsh Brothers to St. Augustine's. That's the 20-metre line. Still a couple of tackles to go. Now they'll prop forward and Dowdle, and Dowdle will roll over. 18 out. Last tackle now, says the referee. Options to the left. There's a ball in the hands of McGill, and McGill puts a goal into the a kick into the end. Goal there. That's a knock-on. So Morris has had to wait a little bit longer for the footy again, JB. Just those grubber kicks at the ankles. Yeah, good last play option there, and obviously they've got the result. So, yeah, we'll see what they can do here. St. Augustine's with the footy. Um, they get another set, and they get to take a bit more gas out of the opposition. Boy, they had a bit of a look at the traffic coming through. I don't yeah. fancy those little grubber kicks. Yeah, often hooves. tough to take. They're bouncing yeah. around and wobbling everywhere. St. Augustine's with another set of six. McGill takes the line, finds Ziegel, putting it through the hands. The 5'8 now has the footy, and that's Bogian. Now back to the middle. Seen a lot of lock forwards, uh, back rows, I should say, scoring some tries here at Contro on Field 1 in particular. There's a chance there for Lucy to do the same thing. Now the prop forward, the big fella charges towards the try line, and Dowdle, a metre short, quick play the ball. Here's another prop forward. He wants to have a crack there in Noipo. Noipo bounces out and scores a try. Oh, forwards running amok. Yeah, he looked like he was held there, but he, yeah. sort of, he sort of kept the legs pumping and, and bounced out of it and has managed to dive over. It's a f They were hanging on well there, Ashgrave, to be honest, defensively, but um, just way to possessions uh, hurt him there. He's almost, I don't know how he got out there. He just kept going, driving with the legs. Good try. I think his fellow front row was involved in that play as well, so under underutilised the ball playing skills of front rows, JB. Oh, even be, their try scoring ability to oh, take them. It's scary. It's scary. It's an untapped resource for mine. <laughs> so, like I said, they haven't had the footy the similar in the previous game where. And Thomas Moore College didn't get their hands on the ball for seven minutes. Yeah, I think in these shortened games too, it's you know you're really you're hoping to go set for set with the opposition because you yeah. can um, 
Look, as you said, look, five minutes will nearly be up by the time this kick's happen, and Ashgrave haven't touched a footy yet. A conversion, you would think it should be too much, but the conditions aren't too bad, and here, yeah, kiss of death. Thanks, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just have a look at this. The previous play, that's the front row who's getting up to play it. And the big number eight, one, two, three, four, five. Ashgrove boys, and unfortunately just momentum takes the big unit across the chalk. So good start there for St. Augustine's. All comes back actually, JB, that little knock on from the grubber, wasn't it? Gave yeah. another fresh set of six. Ashgrove lucky there. I thought they were in front of the kick. Yeah, there. it looked like they were. See how they go this time, uh, Ashgrove. Let's defensively hang on. St. Augustine's got a spring in their set with a four point lead. <coughs> And apart from yourself, JB, there's a penalty. So once again, Maris Brothers. Yeah, they need to be a little bit more disciplined than that, as uh, we touched on there before. We haven't touched the footy yet, and you want to be nice and clean in your defensive set and, and not just hand the opposition field position on the back of your poor discipline. Yeah, that one was a ruck penalty, the one before. They're inside the 10. Okay. They just basically rolled up the middle. It's Dowdle again, the number 10, gets to his feet nice and quick. Set play. That's an, well, he ran outside him, luckily. Maris defence awake to that play. Come to the blind side. Short pass. Pick human. Jeez. He's lost that for cold. Here we go. So Mears comes up with an error and gives a chance here for Maris to ask grab to show us what they can do with the footy. Uh, like I said, JB, uh, part of coaching, I'm guessing there's a lot of people out here looking at the, the future of rugby league and a lot of talent. A lot yeah. of clipboards around, a lot of chat. <laughs> yeah, oh, mate, for, for us, well, for my club anyway, we've got a lot of kids playing, um, in particular at Iona College, so it's just an opportunity to get out and watch them play at this sort of level. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of, obviously, NRL club scouts here and and I'm um, sure the player managers are around as well. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just great to see all the boys um, competing nice and hard. Well, some of these actual players in confraternity in Div 1 actually have NRL contracts already. Oh, yeah, there'd be, yeah, definitely be a number of them. There's a, some good footy yesterday that I saw in that uh, in that Div 1. There's Nathaniel Gillette. Now, look at the size of the guys. He repeated seven years. The man looks older than me. Outstanding how big boys are these days. And that's a f number one there in Prol. Get up and play it. So Ashgrave with the first opportunity. Here he goes with another carry. He's the big fella and Nathaniel Gillette. Penalty. Hand in the ruck. So they'll get a fresh set of six now. St. Augustine's left to defend their try line. Looks like they're going to throw Kaplik at the line. Big number eight. See if he can mirror what happened at the other end. But he's going to be met with the shoulder of Naipo. Two eights come together. Play at the back instead of give it to Thomas Grayer. So Graham driven backwards. Sands in the tackle though, so allows for a quick play the ball. Again this time, big fella wants to have another crack here. And Kaplik, referee's right there. Short ball, trying to get through this time with Nathaniel. Gillette again. Was the, oh, he's got over and knocked it on, unfortunately. Dummy half. That'll be a changeover on the 10. Or was it? Yeah, I think it's a little hook um, dived over, but he's dropped it going over the line. I wonder why Marshall has come back with the footy. He's yeah. Give it back. So one of the smallest guys on the park brings it back and loses the footy, unfortunately. The, the weaker. And my. The little nine there, he's... He's uh, dropped the ball over the line. He's probably a bit dirtier than himself, and he's come up with a, some really good contact there in, in D and, and forced the error. Yeah, I had a college very, very uh, complete job yesterday against St. Pat's, but unfortunately couldn't replicate it in the afternoon, JB. So. Yeah, I missed that game. I had to shoot off, but I saw the earlier game. Um, yeah, there's a few young kids in there of ours that... Um, you know, this whole experience will be good for them, that's for sure. A lot of footy. Quarterfinals this afternoon. As you see, Maris Ashgrove. Trying to get across the line to 
erase a four-point deficit. McCall goes from dummy half. Try line is, sideline, I should say, is just there, but they pushed him back into the field of play. Actually, you've got a little bit of help there from the number four. Oh, May, did Graham? Oh, Good great contact. ball and tackle. That was that one there from Dowdle. Oh, I can hear the crack from here. Again, Gillette. He's done a good job handling the big fella yeah. now on a few occasions. Big understatement. This time they, they try. Oh, lovely stuff. Has it come off? I think it might have come off for St. Augustine. I think Ashgrave might get another crack here. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a changeover, so I am wrong. Not for the first time today. Yeah, they had good shape set to play there. The Ashgrove side, they just probably need a little bit more depth and on uh, in their line. And Why right, this time? Hang on, let's see if he gets through. He does, he hangs on to it this time. And actually, they might be, might be the same player. It's not, he's out on the wing. That's a great carry coming out of yardage. Ten minutes gone, first half. So St. Augustine's from Cairns promoting the footy. Just hangs on. It was a forward play on. And that's Ricks, the 13. Sorry, the prop forward in Dowdle. Has to wait for the pass. Good momentum. Here's some Salek. Again, quick play the ball. Oh, good tackle. I don't think Graham is actually playing in the centres. That's a good forwards tackle. He's in the middle. Yeah, I think he's playing in the edge back Has row. Yeah. yeah, big body in three. That's the last tackle. They get the kick away. Chase has come through. Takes it nicely. Trying to make out the player there from Ashgrove. Oh, it's Ashgrove down. 4 nil. I haven't had much footy. Trying to get their way through. There's one, two, three defenders led there by Cooper Mears. Slow play. They're winning the rest of the St. Augustines. Ashgrove haven't had a chance to get into their grind yet. Karina loses his jersey but hangs on to the footy. Must be interesting. Thought he'd knock it on for sure. A little kick over the top. Going back to tidy up there's the 5 8 and Boggy in, and that's the in goal area. Wow, to get a ball to stay in the short in goal area like that, that's not a bad kick. Uh, it was a good set, too, to be honest. Like they rolled out of yardage really well, and, and a terrific kick on the end of the set. Um, get the footy back here and see if they can build a little bit more pressure. They Good chase, too, JB. From the yeah, well, sometimes the kick's only as good as a chase, but yeah. that was a, a lovely kick, well weighted. Well, short, well, I don't think it was an intentional short line dropout. Karina, can't believe it. They're 10 metres out now. Probably need a little bit more juice on that. It's not like they're behind by a lot for a short line dropout. Two props combining. Kaplik ends up with a footy. Numbers out to the left-hand side here for Ashgrove, and they get it out there. Throws a dummy, just nap. I won't say he butchered one, but he certainly had some stock out to his left-hand side. Corley, big number 20. He gets within an inch. St. Augustine's line defence has been outstanding so far and a little knock on, and that's a credit to their defence. Yeah, they've defended really well. The Ashgrove side have just got to take their time a little bit, not be so rushed down there. And as I touched on before, again, they've gone to that left edge and probably just a little bit uh, a little bit flat rather than punching into holes off, off you know, coming with some depth. Um, Definitely help them. So Ashgrove, well. I have to defend now. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a great defensive game from both sides. Well, we seem to be looking more to the right-hand side of the screen, JB, yeah. than to the left. Numbers, three on one out wide. Here's some with Mai. Mai's got some wheels, got support inside. Mai gives it off on the way to line. A halfback. This will be a try here. St. Augustine's, they've been defending. And their defence has turned into attack. And they score through their halfback and McGill. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a reward for their defence down on their line, to be, to be honest. Um, and then they showed a fair bit of courage to shift the footy coming out of yardage. And found their speed and... 
Yeah, the young um, the young winger there from Ashgrove just sinking in a little bit and opening up some space on his outside and really good job to finish it off as well. Is it easy in the end? Oh, probably got a little, could have got a little bit closer to the uprights. Yeah. But anyway, a chase from uh, Maris Ashgrove. So isn't it funny? You just you, you lift on the on the goal line defence. That little knock on, they couldn't get through. They pushed the passes too much, as you said, JB Ashgrove and. And then all of a sudden, a chance themselves used every inch of field number one. Made a rake down the left-hand side and try time. It's all locked up with a kick that... Oh, sorry. Oh. Waved away. Well, jeez, I'll tell you what. 8-0. I don't want to be critical, JB. I think you might have knocked that one over. Well, they'd... <laughs> whoever's <laughs> stepping up the kick, it's not looking real confident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good vision. Turns it back inside. Nothing the defence could do and goes over and takes it out. Eight nil. So Ashgrove. Most of the footy they haven't got across the line yet. Just under five minutes remaining first half. Here they come again. I play with the try scorer. 15 out. They'd like to put another one in the bank here with St. Augustine's. Just give themselves some breathing space. As JB said, 20 minutes. Haven't got a lot of time to wear down your opposition. Got to go set for set. Penalty here. Ashgrove heads down on everybody. Yeah, well, that's, turn a, around. that's the second penalty now they've given coming out of uh, coming out of yardage. So, again, just discipline letting them down. And well, hang on, they mightn't have found touch here. So, Ziegler has gone backwards as referee. Yes, play on. He's an opportunity here for Ashgrove. Get four, maybe six back on the on St. Augustine's. It's a halfway line. They've just come across there now. Harry Thompson. Ashgrove needs to hang on to the footy. Howard. It's the offload to the left there. Yeah, these are nimble footers. Howard still going. Howard finally pulled down around the ankles. 20 minutes out from the try line. Dart from dummy half. The fence is strong here from St. Augustine's again. 11 now. Howard catching pass. That's a Graham again. He's just a big body back rower. I think you're right, JB, playing that right edge. Last tackle. Takes on the defence one on one, falls to the ground here, and that will be a changeover. I will get the footy back, depending on their discipline, how much yardage they give St. Augustine's. Well, they've turned it over in a pretty good spot, so really good to uh, see how hard they want to get off the line here and see if they can force an error just before half time. So I'm saying they just need to make. So they give away a relieving penalty, which they've done on a few occasions of Ashgrove. It's a 20. Probably not afraid to pull them up for being inside the 10, as we saw from the first penalty of the match, so they want to be careful. It's a 30 now, so getting some metres away for a good kick at the back end of this set of six. Looks like a pop pass, goes out the back here. That's got his finger on that. That'll probably be six to go. No. Ooh. Well, he might be knocked on by an Ashgrove play, JB. But yeah, no, he stuck his hand out there. Um, the three, I think it was. Mm. Two minutes remains so they'll... Need to touch of the, uh, the coach saying defend it for the two minutes. Go to the Sheds 8-0 down rather than 12 or 14. I'll say 14. I'm sure he can't look, miss three kicks. One thing I do find, it takes a little bit longer to pack the scrums here in rugby league for front of these junior schools. So they like their scrums. Bog in, gets ball and all tackle. He's been pretty good out there, the young winger. Liam. Oh, look out, so a There's knock on. Era. Yeah, big redhead, you're right. He's yeah, he just, he's landed his target most, most times and, and done a pretty good job out there on that left edge. Leo Henry. 
He'd probably prefer the 20 minute format. Doesn't get sunburnt <laughs> as quickly. It's a fair skinned chap. So Ashgrove with a set play. They got a 5 1. Fullback comes into play. And that's James Prohl. Good quick play the ball. They have a back line, catch and pass, trying to find a way through. Bit of a goose step there from Thomas Howard. Jeez, he's elusive, Howard. He beats the first tackle every time, nearly. He's good on his feet. Isn't he? Um, it's a couple of uh, runs now that he's had that he's he's beat some pl uh, defenders. Be good, just good to see him maybe try and find a pass on the end of some of that. And, mm. Yeah, something hitting a pace there. He, he's created some gaps in the middle with that ball. Straight to play now to the uh, Patrick Anderson. They've got 12 seconds left on the clock. Probably the last play. Can they put some points on the board? Throws a dummy. That might see half time. He might get to his feet quick enough. He does. Dart from dummy half. Lock forward. Oh, the back rower goes over and scores. And Leon Carina puts a try on right underneath the crossbar, right on half time. And you would think he convert that for an 8 6 lead. Yeah, well, it's that's things, yeah. like way to possession there. Um, it's definitely put them back into the contest here now, heading into the second half. And they really needed some points with all the possession they've had down, uh, down this end of the park, that's for sure. A little flick pass, was it? Yeah, a little flick pass from the nine. Good push, though, from the big back rower. He's, he's, he's worked hard and put himself in the area to take the pass. Like I said, oh, I'm not going to say anything about the kick, JB. Probably best to like just talk about the, the food vans. Oh, that was Something good yesterday, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. I found a few of them. <laughs> Conversion successful, half time. So, a two point ball game, two tries to one, eight points to six in favour of St. Augustine's from Cairns and Maris Asgrove. Well, they started off with all the footy, couldn't get across the chalk. We look at the replays from the first half, JB. Yeah, the big front row early. Just kept his momentum going and ball carrying arm off the ground and, and managed to dive over. And then this was a really good. We will make a difference in this world. We are the other now. We will walk together as the heart of this land. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are alive. This is a city where the sun shines all year, where we sing when we're winning, and we play without fear. This city is a family, and families stick together. We've always been in it to win it. This city never says never. So the second half, just about to get underway, as we mentioned, it was all Ashgrave, but they couldn't get any points on the board in the... It's just a great defensive set from St. Augustine led to that try. They put him out 8-0. The kicks haven't been fat flash from, from St. Augustine. But a try right on half time and a converted one of that has put Ashgo within two. So not for the first time we can see ourselves having a pretty close end of this game. But we've also seen JB in schoolboy footy always a um, always something different comes in the second half. It always seems to be like a game of, t I won't say two halves, but a good chat. It seems to wind up other oppositions. They seem to come away with um, with the win, even though they're behind at half time. Yeah, for sure. I I'd really like to see the Ashgrave side like really just carry the footy hard and and support each other. They're sort of they're looking to pass a little bit too much Ford, in their Ford. middle. And that's yeah, that was Ford. We're right in line with that. Um, yeah, just think they're trying to pass a little bit much through the middle and they've got some big men out there. They just need to run hard and find their front and let their backs play off the back of that. So just a bit more patient there with the footy? Yeah, like I just, yeah. to me they're just passing a little bit too much yeah. in the middle. Um, some big bodies, let them, let them carry the footy. and They've got uh, they've always got a pretty deep back line. They just haven't got out there. St. Augustine's have come up 
out wide. Made Ashgrove go back inside. That's Turisin Novik. Halfway line cross here for St. Augustine's. They lead by two. That's Dowdor. Strong was the number 10, as was the number 8. He's not out there at the moment for the Cairns side. Oh, there he is. I beg your pardon. Try to roll him onto his back to slow the play. The ball down. Ball in hand. It puts a fender on there. Just boggy in. He's been good at number six, hasn't he, for St. Augustine? He just might be play, overplaying his hand a little bit. Jack Ricks, look out, last tackle. Aerial or grub a kick. Breeze is coming from top left to bottom right and it's going in that direction. Is there going to be too much on it? Flies high, it hasn't been, um, has been touched, it's, it has been knocked on. I think that might be a scrum feed here to St. Augustine. I think he's knocked it on there. The, the winger, Leo Henry, am I right? Here it is, another set of six here for, well, it's, uh, opposite. You get a digit on there, JB? Yeah, not sure. My eyes aren't that good. Um, <laughs> That's why I was asking. Probably it was a, wasn't a great kick off the boot. It's probably one of those kicks you let your opposite um, sort of catch and and make the tackle on him. He was you know, 10 metres off his line, but yeah, he'll, uh, he'll learn from that one. Here he is, the number six I was talking about. She's got a right-hand fend, but this time he bounces off and goes to grass. 10 out from the try line. She threw that wide straight away under ball now Mears back row driven back good defence here from from Ashgrove lock four wants to have a carry or Jack Ricks Hooker's got the footy now in Locust Lane he's gone really close he's lost the footy though so Mara's come up defensively with the footy not for the first time we've seen a handling error right on the try line yeah, well, I think both teams have defended their line fairly well for the majority of this game. Um, I think, again, I think he's just lost this as he's going to put it down. Saw St. Augustine's defence reap a try in the first half. You see the Leo Henry coming in and do some work to apologise for his handling error moments ago. Ashgrove, happy to try and use that second phase play. And there's with Leo Henry. The chalk is right there and he goes into touch. Yeah, Banks their chances down the wing there but ran out of turf. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, play three, I think it was, wasn't it? I'd mm. like to have seen Bounce back in a little bit in the midfield there and get to the end of their set. Said two point ball game. Anyone's to Very be similar to the first ten minutes of this game. They'd sort of mm. been in their own half, Ashgrove, and but they're, they're hanging on defensively, so they're still in this. Now they get across the halfway line. Mears been good. The number twelve. No look pass. They'll come up with it now, Ashgrove. Ten minutes short of halfway. Bit of a goosey coming from Corley. Gets over halfway now. Ashgrove. Short ball. Catches it this Thompson. Nicely done. There was a lot of pressure on him. Takes that short ball. Might have a chat to his mate at full time about that. But anyway. It's a good set so far. Really good. I'd like to see Howard get involved a lot more here. He's sort of just hanging wide and waiting for the ball to find him a little bit. He's their most dangerous attacking player that I've seen. Uh, be good to see him just sniffing around the middle a little bit and trying to chime in off those offloads. Last tackle now. Kick into the end goal. Needs a bounce. He gets it. So he'll run that back in the field of play with Patrick Jones. The, the right end of the field now, Ashgrove. Set down by two, but Still a long way to go. 14 minutes remaining. Handling area here from St. Augustine's and that'll open the door and that's what they're trying to put on them. A few big hits. One, two, three defenders. 
The wind carries that whistle noise, doesn't JB? I thought from out in the middle. Yeah. This ground's up further. Now it's the last. Good defensive set from Ashcraft. So that's a 30 metre line he's had to kick it on. Sits up. Thomas Howard take the tackle. Yeah, really good defensive set. And as you said, they've got the footy in really good field position here already. Leo Henry comes in to do some work again. Having a mixed game is the uh, left winger. Loses the footy. Loses the cold too. So when I say mix, it's probably getting bad to worse for the big redhead. Yeah, that was... Uh, he's sort of fighting a little bit in the tackle, but the carry wasn't great from him, to be honest. Good underneath him in the nine. He's been good, the little hooker. Yeah. From St. Augustine's. He's competes hard. He's in everything. Probably should have scored. Maybe yeah. One, maybe two tries, but he's spilt it. Lovely day here at uh, St. Lawrence's, out here at Runcorn. Get out and have a look. So, oh, well, I thought the biggest shear might have come from Leo Henry. The knock on the back of the scrum. Geez, so, yeah, I wrapped the nine and I think the Timmy just knocked it on at the back. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, a I've, boot in the way. The 12s blame there, JB. I've put the kiss of death on yeah. him. Okay. So scrum in the same spot. Just bouncing off the first tackle, throws a dummy. Gives it off to Henry. Henry dies on, but he's knocked that on. <laughs> oh, Leo Henry can't take a trick. No, he just needs... Probably wasn't footy. a ball to be passed nah. either. So, scrum for you, just sort of, if you have a look at the replay here, probably didn't need to throw that pass. He already made some metres. He's to take it, tries to pop pass here. It's a wobbly old footy, and then yeah, he's knocked it on, trying to draw it back into himself. So, yeah, An error on play one and play two in their last two sets has put, it, put their defence under some pressure again here. Pushing the scrum, great to see. Short ball. Coming to defend there is Jason Prowl. Quick play the ball, St. Augustine. They throw the big number 10 and Dowdle. Dowdle is also all the number 8s uh, and 10s. And every Blunt game I've seen have been outstanding with their ball four. carrying skills. Not so much RF, their carry, but just the way able to promote the footy. Would you please uh, remove Ricks. your car from the drive? Here's another one. It's Nelda. Uh, western side of the Brother Ryan Centre. You're blocking the entrance and exit Numbers. for buses. Um, parking for uh, Boggy and volunteers. See, uh, and, ten metres uh, out, last tackle. Uh, workers here are Puts a kick over the bridge. Up into the end goal uh, area. Coming through. Oh, he's lost uh, the footy. And you need to act yeah, that like, that's a, it was Ooh. a decent kick, good chase. You just need to catch uh, so that footy the and, owner of the and they're in. Yeah, Wilcott, I think it was. He, he one, had a chance nine, there, but he, I think even if he caught it, JB, he flew that high, he's going to end up in the canteen. From the premises. Thank you. So a grand announcer there. As soon as he said the black car, I knew I was safe. Ashgrove. Down by two inside the final ten. No time to panic just yet, but they haven't been at the other end of the field all that often in the second half. There's a good drive. They've tried to come down this left-hand side. They're going to go this way again. Just wonder, that's with Thompson. Leo Henry's confidence might be a little bit down. Well, he's, uh, it's Isaac Roach, the 16. Like Here we go. CQ Isaac Roach has got the footy. Goes back into the field of play. Sport. Driving with the legs there. Hangs on to it. He's 10 short. Dart from dummy half. <coughs> Last tackle. Ashgrove. Big back line. Putting it through the hands. Cut out ball. Thank you all. Chance for O'May, leaves it behind him, picks it up. Six more to go, said the referee. So Ashgrove have got six more. Yeah, well, this is their first real opportunity this half. And I think if they can make the um, St. Augustine team defend 
six plays. They might sneak over here. Karina, the try scorer. Still going, Karina. Oh, if he can get his wing out there to put the ball down. The referee's right there, held up. Go back 10 metres, have another crack. St. Augustine's hanging on. They hang on to a two-point lead. No hurry to come back, set play. They'll have a deep back line. I think, I think you're right, JB. Ashgrave, because of their rugby union, their back lines are sometimes just a bit too deep. Yeah, and their last shift was their best shift, the one that um, just got knocked down. Then just a couple of long passes to get on the outside defenders. A little bit flatter, you're right. They've got that a little bit flatter this time. Mitchell. Front onto his back. Ball out the back and good play here for Thomas Howard. Been strong the fullback. Seems to be playing at, at one. Skipping, dancing. Rangy man trying to get through there and high shot. So another set of six here. So Corley will get up. The 20s had a, a strong game as well. Tap restart. He has another go here now as Corley. They really try, I reckon they need to try and go to their right here as much as they can. Numbers. Catch and pass is all they need to do. Long ball probably didn't need to be done because it was a floating pass. Mai was able to come out on the left-hand wing to turn that play back inside. But Astro have still got a couple more tackles up their hands. That's that man again in Thomas Mitchell, the 19. Right on the chalk. Market defence comes up. Waste of a tackle there. So Ashgrove still got a couple more in the bank. This time they burrow through. Referees point to the spot. That'll be a try. And they go ahead by two here to Ashgrove. Couldn't quite make out the number. Might have been the nine. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't overly pretty there, the, the end result. But uh, they're on the scoreboard uh, here in the second half. And I think just the weight of possession there. I think that's about their fourth set. Oh. Picked it up and plopped it over the line. It wasn't the nine. It was a, a double digit. Ashgrove don't care. They lead by two. Kick to come. Thomas Mitchell. The 19. Oh, well, it's close. I said nine, 19. But Thomas Mitchell, been strong. Like I said, the 19, 20, 21. Coming up on field one at 11.50, Marymount College will play Padua College. That's the next field game here on field one is Padua Park versus Marymount. Padua. Field three. The Verge looks the pretty good, it is. So 12 points four, to wait, still got five and, and a half minutes to go. So Marymount will play Padua. I'm sure how Marymount's trapped. They might be one, one and one, and Padua are none and two. Mayus College, Jim Boomba. And on Bill Six, Unity College. Five minutes to go to St. Augustine's. Go the short one. For mine, with, with five minutes, you've got to go deep. Try and get a good defensive six. They do that into the sun. Yep, there you go. Chance here, the door's been open. A little bit of push and shove at the back. Yeah, that's not how you want to no. start uh, your set after points, unfortunately, for the young winger there. All right, the Mars Ashgrave will be called to defend the line once again. We've already had a draw on this game, on this ground, I should say, yesterday. So, a set play. Short ball. That's a man in Tukanovic. Ten out. Oh, shapes to go left, goes right. Well, they're waiting for Salek. Ball carries. Already got one meat pie. The big fella, I think he's got close to getting over again. Referee's right there, held up. Well, I don't know how you can hold up Waterman put Noipo with that half the some sort of machinery. Under, yeah. Half the team was underneath him. Great effort from Ashgrove to hang on. 
And Rolf, somebody underneath the big fella. They go again, throwing a Jack Ricks at the line. Dummy half is Lucas Lane. McGill goes back in the field. Clayton's boggy in. Probably should have thrown that pass. Still plenty of time though. Boggy will get up. Loses the footy. Well, he's pleading to his teammates. I didn't do it. Yeah, I think that. Oh, that's a decent call. That Ashgrove had one similar not long ago, and the boys are going to hang the footy out there in one hand. They're a fair chance of dropping it. Relief for Ashgrove. Now I need to complete a set of six. JB get to the kick. Get out of dodge. Isaac Roach with the first carry. Go back and play it on the mark. He might have looked up to see if he got penalised for a knock on, but he didn't. Isaac Roach. That's the second tackle. Got a few metres. Yeah, just need to roll up the sleeves here, runner. That's oh, uh, that was JB. a good carry till then. It was. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> he slipped out of his dukes. Nathaniel Gillette. We'll open the door again now here for St Augustine's. Short ball. Boggy in. There's two boggings out there. That's Connor. This is Beers. Two minutes remaining. Four point ball game. Pushes off one, two. Jack Ricks, 13. Strongest. All go. Here's the big fella. He's already got one. Noipo. Draws three or four defenders. Good quick play the ball here from Noipo. Short ball. Maris Ashgrove hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Last tackle. Long looping pass. Is it broken down here? They've gone backwards. They've lost 10. Try time in the corner. And he goes over and scores. This Connor Boggy. In. <clears throat> it's out wide. Scores a 12 all. Will come down to the kick and oh. Wow. Well, let's go back to the knock on from the ball carrier earlier. J B. Yeah. Oh, to be honest, their goal line D's been tremendous. Both teams at the long pass sort of got him on the outside there and Yeah, young winger he just sunk in a little bit and uh, got got beat by the pass on his outside. It's a big kick this one. It's a big kick. Well that'll be full time, they won't need to Worry about getting set for a restart here. So kick 18, oh sorry, 12 all. No pressure here. Breeze isn't as bad as yesterday, JB, so it's pretty true. Ah, uh, it's a lovely day. So Jesse Zilt Ziggler. Sam Gussin's a Snatch the win. Breeze is probably coming straight across the field. Pretty yeah, close. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Straight at us. Full time. Game after this. Marymount will take on Padual College. So we wait for this kick. There's a kind of hush all over the world. Here he comes. Strikes it, strikes it. Has it got the legs? Sure. Yes, it has. Oh! Wow. Kicks it on full time. Can you believe it? Cinderella story. Comes up with a win. Ashgrove can't believe it. St. Augustine's can. And it's gone over the crossbar, so a win. 14 points to 12. Well, we'll wrap it up here, JB. What a finish. Todd, you'll be close, but holy smokes. Why would you be a coach, JB? Oh. Explain. I'll tell you what, that was a cracking kick, though. Like, he's, he's probably the smallest player on the field. They're lining the conversion up. I think he gave that everything, and she's just gone over. But, uh, yeah, really good game for you. I thought both sides defended their line really well. And um, probably, you know, a little bit clunky with the ball at times, both teams. But, um, yeah, really good game. And, and uh, 
I'm sure, you know, obviously one team really happy with the result there. <laughs> John Buchanan, we thank you for your time, mate. Hopefully we'll get you back on the call a little bit later on in the carnival, mate. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your time here at Confro, mate. And we'll wrap it up here. 14 points to 12 for a win. Right on the buzzer. St. Augustine take the chocolates. Confro 2023 back shortly.